Greetings colleagues. Hope you are having a good day. Welcome to this short video. Uh, my major aim is to demonstrate to you how we can schedule and join a big blue button session from within your course. This is the web conferencing tool that you will be expected to use as we move forward in this semester with our new e-learning platform. So let's get right into it. I am here logged in to our site as a typical teacher, just as you all are in the system. And I am on my dashboard. You know, on your dashboard, you will find all of the courses you are enrolled in. And I would like to use this one. So I click on this one for my demonstration purposes. This is a default teacher's test course that I'm using for just testing purposes. So of course your course page will open. You are now viewing your blank template uh, ready to uh, um, add to it all kinds of resources and activities um, that you can use in your course. So as you will recall, in order to add anything, you must first click your turn editing on button actually mine was on already so i've turned off so let me turn back on the editing button and when you turn on you will notice that you will have in each of the sections of the course this link that would allow you to go to your activity and resource picker so let's say you want to locate your join link in topic one you will click on this link which is in topic one and you will be adding something to topic one. In this case, you want to add your big blue button session. You want to set it up. So you click once on your big blue button, which is usually the second one at the top there. And your settings page or your schedule page will open for setting up your session. Mandatory field, you must feel you must give your session a name, and this is the name that will show on your course home page so i am just going to call it session one you can see a bit more here that you can do in this first part of the page if you like you can give a brief description of what your session is about in this text box here if you would like that description to show on the course page then you will click this radio button and this one I will normally always use because as soon as this session is saved, a message will go automatically to all of your enrolled students, all of your class members. So they would see when they sign in that the session is set up and they will get an email as well. Okay, so you move down the page and you have your activity room settings here where you can add a welcome message. Now this message that you are adding here will sh appear at the top of your chat window within the session. So it's like you can have a prompt, you can start your chat ahead of time. So you can set up like a little welcome message to whoever will join the session. If you would like your participants to wait for you, the moderator, you can check this box. So that is, they will not be able to join the session until you join. So you would have to make sure you are early. Good idea, I think, but I do not use it very often, but I would ensure that I get to the session early so that I can monitor things as we, you know, begin the session. Session can be recorded is always default, and I know you will want to record the session so that the recording can be made available to whoever were not able to attend the sessions and your recording settings you do not have anything to change there there is not anything there actually because your users are already enrolled in your Moodle course all users would automatically be viewers in the session and you the teacher who is setting up the session will automatically be the moderator in the session very important is the schedule itself, your join time. So in order to set your date, you click this little button to enable the boxes to appear. 
and today is the 31st you will set your date and time for the session so i would leave it as now which is the current time that would always be here and your your join close i would change um, to be in the next hour or so so i will change this to 11. so this will mean that anyone can join this session within this hour that is on the 31st of august between 10 58 and 11 58 they will be able to join this does not mean that when it's 11 58 the session would be cut off no you as the teacher you can go on the session can go longer so take note that it is the join period that you are setting up here all of the others are the defaults are usually okay except you might have groups in your course which are usually pretty fine set up by you within the course if that is the case then you can have your sessions for separate groups within the course otherwise if you do not have any groups then this would always be set on no groups so that the entire class would be one big group within your session there's the restrict access which is usually available for these activities and i am using heavily now in my teaching the activity completion you can think of that those are you would have seen some videos already um, that deals with activity completion you can use if you wish you have your tags and competencies at present we are not focus, focusing on heavily so you save and return to course i will do for now you can click save and display as well and you will see now that the little b big blue button uh, is uh, now appearing here. little big blue button <laughs> yeah um, so this is where you will join and your class will join based on the join time that you would have set up so let's see what that will be like now you click on your join on your link for the session message would come up here the conference room is ready that is because the join time was i set to our current time and your users will see the same message when they click on that link and join session this is what this is how your browser will normally operate remember um the big blue button runs in whatever browser you're using here i am using a browser called brave the first time i'm using brave for it so i would see how it would work here uh, it is taking me into the session all right this this pop-up would always come for you to decide if you are joining listening only or if you are joining with microphone same from your students and of course you are the teacher so you will always join with microphone so you select that now your browser will normally prompt you to allow to use microphone and also to use video so i have selected allow and they want to also access the microphone okay right so a test feature would follow next which you can hear an echo when if if your microphone is all right so right now i am not hearing the echo so it means that i the correct uh, microphone is not selected so i will say no I am not hearing and yes I am using the headset so I do not need the line in but instead I need the USB device USB device right it's the headset I'm using so I set those and I retry now yes I'm I'm hearing I'm hearing my, myself so which means uh, the microphone the audio is okay so yes and that voice would come up and say you are only the you are currently the only person in this um, session that is because this nobody else is in my class here now and nobody else have joined all right so you are into your session now you would have seen the video or already on actually um maneuvering using the 
the interface to teach. I think the big blue button is very, very good. It is designed specifically for teaching and learning. So hope you hope this was helpful. Um, you can now, you should be able to know um, in your courses, set up your sessions, which you can um, conduct live with your class. So have a good day and we will talk again.